Hello everyone! So this is me sitting on a big white unicorn somewhere at the end of Germany and I am on a meeting for podcasters. It's called Podstock.de. It's like a convention for podcasters from Germany or Austria or wherever they come from. And today I want to make interviews with some of my followers as they know all about me because of the podcast What's in Your Pen. So this is kind of translated stuff and I will ask them some questions and I think this is going to be a lot of fun so let's see how this will work. Ready, set, go! You have to take one of these. Uh, banana! <laughs> <laughs> and you have to open Genius. this. And this is your microphone. <laughs> and you have to talk to the penis. Hi, I'm Toby. Hi, I'm Judith. I usually don't stop it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Michael. So, hello! So, it's your shampoo uh, dispenser. Yes, yes, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Daniel. Hi. <laughs> Let's see, what are your preferred pronouns? She. Uh, for for he, you. Just he. he. I like. Uh, I think. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, you like? <laughs> so, which yeah. which which pronoun do you like best? I would say my pronoun is she. I'm trans. Yeah, I know. I'm trans. I know. So I'm trans. And what's your preferred pronoun? <laughs> he. Ah. Well, um, I think. <laughs> she or they? <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't have a penis. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much in common! <laughs> well, you have one in your hand. Yeah, and one on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Me as well, but... Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember your first thoughts when you saw me? I um, first heard your voice and I thought, oh, this must be Toby. Actually, I thought you looked like on your pictures? I thought like I don't think that someone could see you as uh, as a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you don't look like a woman. If I say to you FTM, do you know what that stands for? Not really. It's, I think it's female to male. Female to male. To okay. me you look like a man. But I don't have a deep voice and um, a beard. That's not an argument for me, mm -hmm. to see someone as a man or as a woman. Do you have any kind of experience with trans people? Well, I met and talked uh, to maybe two or three before. Well, I met one. Because for me it was absolute clear what I, what I am, mm -hmm. who I am. Mm -hmm. Since a long time on Twitter, dealing with gender issues, mostly from a feminist perspective. That's why I have a lot, let's say, some trans people in my Twitter timeline, mm -hmm. which helped me a lot. One of my colleagues was, uh, uh, is an FTM. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a point for me until very short time when someone came to me and said, oh, there is someone at work. She's a cool person. Mm -hmm. I like her. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand why there's so much stuff and trouble going on yeah. with kind of laws and... He came, he was always dressed mm -hmm. up like a guy and now he, he's wearing a skirt and I don't know mm -hmm. what, to, what to do. Yeah. And I said, oh, listen to what's in your pants. Yes, mm -hmm. and perhaps you will get some yeah. answers from it. I learned in your podcast more about penis weights than... Uh, Anywhere else. So. I think this one is a really lightweight. Yeah, this is good for... <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> oh. Good for baggage limitations on flights. It's oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's great. <laughs> Can you imagine dating a trans person? Well, why not? Sure. So let's say you meet a man and you like him and then you find out he's trans. Actually, it's kind of interesting because I thought about this listening yeah. to your podcast. Yeah. It's about the person. Mm. So you and your podcast you uh, make me you make me think a mm. lot about yeah. these, uh, these things. It has to be the right um yeah thoughts and thinking stuff. Can't answer this with a clear no. Why not? I would say yes. 
It might be a nice person, mm -hmm. it might be an asshole, no matter if uh, straight, trans, male, female, whatever. So, Penis, vagina, yeah. doesn't matter. Sure. The, the attraction you might have for someone, you don't um, fix this one on someone's genitalia or... or... No, of course not. Oh. So you're more <laughs> into character stuff yeah. and... Yeah. It's a person standing in front of me, why is it important if he or she is trans or cis? You as a person are not this or mm -hmm. not. You don't fall in love with someone's genitals. No. Hmm. You are a woman. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You are born as a man. Yeah. You were born as a female. Yes. Yes. So you have a penis? Yeah. Do you feel comfortable with your gender? Yeah. So what's it like to feel comfortable with your assigned gender? How do you know? I think I never had the feeling that there was something wrong with my gender. I couldn't even imagine how it would be for me to be born in a, in a wrong body. Normally it's something you don't think about. Sometimes I feel a little bit uncomfortable with the social mm -hmm. gender you have as a woman in okay. this. Yeah, okay. Right. For example, a business or when male people talk stupid. I could return the question to you. How, how does it feel not to be comfortable with your gender? So. <laughs> it's more that when I think about uh, privileges mm -hmm. for also in the intersectional feminist uh, scene where trans women are not that often in a good position because there are uh, like feminists from 20 years ago mm -hmm. that are like yeah but perhaps we shouldn't bring for example trans women to women's shelters or something mm -hmm. and I would say what as a baby I have I had to learn to live with a penis mm -hmm. but since then I never thought of not having a penis. Every day you were like, I don't like myself, I don't like what I look like in the mirror when I'm naked or half naked. Okay. Um, I don't like the social role I'm put in as a female. Um, I don't like all the cliches, what I have to do and what I have to look like, what I have to behave like and that's kind of painful and um, it offends me in so many ways because I never felt that way. Okay. I can look into a mirror and see myself. Okay. So this Tell. was always right for you, even puberty and everything else. It just felt right for yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. So happy you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if people say, all women have to have long hair. Of course, there are so many women out there in the world who have short hair. Yeah, but they are all lesbian. All, yeah, all, all of them. All, all of them. All, all, all of true, them. Yeah. True. For the first time, I asked myself, "Do I really like to be a woman? Or mm -hmm. I won't be yeah, anything yeah. else." Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a privilege. But I. It is. But and uh, we don't see it normally. We just see it when we compare it to other people. When we yes. come, when we listen to trans people who, yes. who yes. say it's not. When I look into the mirror, it's not that yeah. way. I wake up and it's not that way. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the reason why I'm gay because I don't like to play football. Oh, you are gay. Yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's gay. Do you have any questions? How does it feel to choose your first name? My story is that I had my name Toby for the last 20 years. It was a nickname first. Okay. I thought about changing it. It wasn't really an option for me because uh, when I came out to, to my friends and my family and almost everyone calls me Toby for the okay. last 20 years and their reaction was like Please don't change your name! Please don't! <laughs> and this name, Toby, is such a great part of my identity okay. um, through all these years um, that it wasn't really an option. I, I only choose a second name, Janos. Uh, was Janos well, so, the, um, the ancient guy with the two heads? Yes, <laughs> um, the one with the differences and uh, also uh, men and women and yeah, the god with the two faces, and um, that 
was um, <laughs> it was quite interesting because oh. I first chose the name and then look what it meant. What I really like um, on on names if it, if one has a biblical meaning or mm -hmm. something. So, but with my first name Toby, I already have this from Tobias and um, whatever. So I have I have this one. So I said, okay, check. Then I just can choose every name I want to. And after I decided I want this name because I, I like Toby, Janos, and also um, the short one like TJ. That's great. Yeah, that sounds um, good. And then I read, okay, this is the god with the two faces. And then also, uh, it was like he's the god of the month of January. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, he is, and I I was born in February, but my father wanted to call me January. Okay. So and although my relationship to my father is a real difficult one, um, because we don't have a relationship anymore, but I think by by choosing this name, I am so I'm so close to what he originally wanted for me. So, and this is um, a great story. Yeah, this is this is really great. Yeah, yeah. So this is the story of my uh, second name. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, I think. Yeah. It is. Yeah. What's it like when so people know you as a trans person because you are doing videos and a podcast mm. and stuff like that? How how does it feel when people you meet for the first time know so much about you because you are so <laughs> yeah. so open in your podcast? Um, it feels um, it feels kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because they know like everything mm -hmm. about me mm -hmm. and my life and what I have down there and what I don't have. Mm -hmm. It's more like. Uh, me standing in front of them, totally naked. Mm -hmm. it, it does get better mm -hmm. because because uh, the people here are all really they are so nice and they give me so much positive feedback on mm -hmm. everything I I do and um, this is really heartwarming for me um, and I and I, I I feel I feel so touched by their by their comments mm -hmm. and by by the things they are telling me and um, so this is really 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 great being here surrounded by the people who love what I'm doing so um then Daniel I think we have it all <laughs> <laughs> thank you really much you did thank you Toby But Michael then thank you really much well no problem. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it, it's so nice to meet you. Can I give you a hug? Of course. Oh. <sighs>
if I put this one in my pants, it would be really wet. Do you still feel comfortable? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Sitting with a gay trans man on, on a, a big white unicorn, unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> with banana penis in with my hand. <laughs> yeah. And is it? Uh... This is totally gay. <laughs> <laughs> and is it a golf ball penis? That... Oh, so, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, it has eyes and it's all over my face. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> What's it like to have so many penises? <laughs> 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 Hello, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, uh, too much penises. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> why is it's getting hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, I had a drink. I had a drink. Achso, und das Video kann ich nochmal ausmachen.